All right, so we changed some of the UI location, and now we're gonna make the color a lot prettier. So this orange is just not doing it for me. It's not Halloween, it ain't my thing right now. So if I go to Preferences, Eye Colors, <clears throat> And then down here, we can change almost everything inside of ZBrush. But if we go to SW2, you'll notice at the bottom, it's called Switch Button Pressed Color. So I'm going to left-click and hold it, and then drag my mouse around. And this becomes basically an eyedropper, and it is grabbing the colors of those pixels on the screen. So I can go to my color palette, and say I want this nice hot pink, or candy apple red, maybe laser green. I really like a nice seafoam green color, like right there. Now you can see that all these buttons that are pressed will have this green color to it. These buttons won't because it's a press and nothing stays. But let's go to Z Remesher and then hit like Keep Groups. So everything that is pressed stays that color that I want. And then, just like before, I can go to Config, and then Store Configuration. I'm going to press that. Now, every time I open up ZBrush, I should have my nice, fancy seafoam green buttons. Now let's take a look. Voila! That's how you customize the colors inside of ZBrush.